we Americans of today are passing through a period of supreme test. If we meet that test successfully and honorably, we shall perform a service of historic importance. Out of the Depression, Franklin D. Roosevelt was doing a lot of things across the country, and this was one of them. When Bonneville Power constructed this line, that was in the pinnacle of electrifying America. And Bonneville was wanting to demonstrate that we could build transmission lines anywhere we needed to. That way, that there was no barriers for us to be able to service towns and communities across America. The work of our forefathers in the IBW are the ones that demonstrated what could be built in this country using the IBW labor. And still today, we're making sure that the IBW standard lives on. From the Bonneville Dam powerhouse, it's a 22 and a half mile sectional line. that runs all the way over to Hood River. Our project is to completely rebuild it. This line runs right across the Pacific Crest Trail. On the right of way, we actually have waterfalls that we cross over. It's just beautiful, and at the same time, so rugged. You gotta wonder, why did they put this line here? And yet, as a lineman, you look at it and you go, that's a challenge I want to take on. We got all of our tools and equipment secured down in the truck, all the doors shut and all that. As far as our route out of here, we need to make sure we get each other turned around and headed back straight, utilize backers. Before everybody leaves, make sure you do a good circle of safety and uh, uh, We'll have a safe trip back in. Anybody have any questions? Sounds good. Good. All right. A line like this attracts a certain kind of lineman. There's no getting to the structure other than by a helicopter or an hour-long hike. Even equipment, we've flown in small excavators into some sites and doing everything up on the top of a mountain. I mean, the IBW linemen that are out here, they're some of the best, I feel, in the world. A job like this means a lot because there's a lot of history behind it. And we get to do all this challenge and stuff. It keeps it interesting. It's something new. Not the same old boring desk job, you know? We get to come out and fly every day. There's a lot of challenges out there that you just kind of learn to deal with and learn to overcome, and it just becomes like a second nature, really. It's like, you know what you're going to need in case something breaks down or you get stuck or whatever. So I think it's just part of the job. I mean, when I think of transmission, I think of going through the mountains. Wilson is a NECA contractor that's an IBW partner here based in the Northwest. This is their backyard. You know, one of the unique parts about Wilson is they have their own helicopter fleet. And these pilots that work daily with the, the crew members and they build these trust relationships and the success that they can have on a complicated job like this, it's pretty fantastic. When Wilson comes into an area, they also draw out of the local union. So that's great for IBW Local 125 as we get our local hands put to work. It's more of a reputation that the IBW and Wilson has is for, I would say, a specialty of being able to get into the rugged places and, and dealing with the helicopters and the abnormal situations and having an awesome safety record in all of those circumstances. The group of guys out here, they're having fun. I think it makes them enjoy their job more, keeps them focused because they enjoy working with each other and they just do a great job communicating and having fun while they're doing it. 
This is a dream job. You're up in the mountains. You got waterfalls behind you. You got the Columbia River below you, where you're hooking up to a helicopter in the morning. You're flying to the top of a structure. It's a lot of excitement going on, a lot of activity, and a beautiful setting.